Today, we're gonna to be covering exactly how to automate the EQ inside of Logic Pro X. Hi, I hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson. I'm a mastering engineer here at Dinosaur Dog Mastering. And as a part of this video, I wanna give you a free gift. It is a full mixing course from A to Z. It's for free. I'm just gonna give it to you for watching this video. That course is linked down below in the description of the video, or you can go down to the comments. It's also on a comment where you get access to that course for free. Again, is my free gift to you. It covers everything from A to Z and how to get a pro mix inside of Logic Pro X. Let's dive into the actual content of how to automate EQ inside of Logic Pro X. I'm gonna play this little tiny section for you in this mix, and we're going to be automating the vocal, but there's a little this this little break in the song, and I wanna make a cool transition kind of moment there with automating EQ. Sometimes I feel like the devil's inside me, but then I know that's just me. So as you can tell, there's just that little break, me, pause, and then in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna make a filter sweep. Fancy word for saying we're gonna automate all the frequencies down and then we're going to be able to create a cool little transition. First step we wanna do is actually add an EQ to our channel strip. So let's go find our lead vocal. I'm just gonna go throw an EQ on here. Okay, so that's step one is add an EQ to your channel strip. Step two is to actually enable the band we want to use. So because this high cut is actually disabled by default, we need to enable it to make sure we can actually use them. And then I'm gonna make change my slope to six decibels per octave, just so it's a little bit more natural sounding as it goes down. Basically what we want to do is we want this to just go down when that vocal comes in. So you can kind of, I'll do it manually so you can kind of hear what I'm, what I'm going after here. That's just me. That didn't really work. Let's do it. Let's automate it just so I can actually get the right timing here. <laughs> so the next step is to hit A on your keyboard or to hit this little automation button up here and you should be able to see all of your automation tools pop up. So I already have an automation here running. So I'm going to move this down. And then if you have multiples, you just hit this little plus button to add another one. Then we want to, instead of automating our pan function, we want to go down and automate our EQ. So the automation main section here is going to be your main plugins that are on the channel. So you can see the main one it includes all the other functions that are automatically on your channel strip, like your volume, your pan solo, etc. We don't really care about those right now. We're really what we're after is the actual plugins. So as you can see, the Clarifonic compressor and EQ are all on the channel strip and the little number next to them indicates they're, they're spot on that channel strip. So if you have multiple channel EQs, you can tell which one it is based on which slot it's in on the chain over here. Okay, so we're gonna go to our EQ and what we're going to want to automate is our high cut frequency. I'm gonna change that, enable this, and only cut on the last word of this phrase. So let's listen to it again, just so I can get it. It's just me. Yeah, me, right there. Take our little cut here, change it down to nothing, right? Where that phrase is ending. So let's listen to it. It's just me. No. It's me. No. It's me. No, I don't like the way that's sounding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to raise this up to 18 decibels. And to make it more dramatic, I'm gonna raise the Q value, which is this bottom one here. And I'm going to catch a little bit of a boost. So that'll make this sweep a little bit more obvious. So let's listen to it. It's me. Yeah, that's better. Let's do just a little bit more. Me. Give one. No, that's just me. Give one. So let's listen to it in context. I, I need. Sometimes I feel like the devil's inside me. But then I know that's just me. Give one like a shot. Yeah, so that's a really subtle little tiny sweep right there at the end, but it adds a ton of just kind of drama, just that extra little flavor in there that makes this transition really cool. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.